Okay, this epoxy is rock hard right now. Uh, well, just almost, almost fully cured. But you can see it took a lot of effort there to crack it in half. So I know my fills along the seam are nice and hard. Um, I've mixed up the epoxy and you can see it's it's a kind of a paste and right now it's still very runny. So I'm going to take it and I'm just going to lay it down in the side and smooth it out. And you can do all your fins at once with this stuff, which is why I like it. See, I'm, I'm not putting it everywhere because I'm going to smooth this out with my finger and there's going to be way too much on there. Um, so I'm just kind of putting it on half of it. Okay, i just put that to the side so now I've got it all on. So now I'm just going to take my finger and then pick up a little bit and go around, the, around those corners and then just run it along the bottom, along the seam there. Go around this front corner and I can start going back the other way. Okay, and I got way too much like I said. So I'll just put that back in there. Have plenty of paper towels handy. Um, and I also have some rubbing alcohol. Rubbing alcohol helps clean it up too. It kind of thins it out. Like right here, my fin kind of got everywhere and on my table. And I'll wipe that off. Got a little garbage can underneath there. Ooh, a little bit too much. Okay, so I think most of the fills, I'm ready to pull the tape up, but before I do that, um, I still have this launch lug that I don't have epoxy underneath, and I want to get epoxy in there and get it on the, on, the, on the screw on the inside, and so that's what I got this dowel for. You need a long dowel, long enough to get inside to smear some epoxy in there, so I'm just going to get some on the tip of my dowel. That's probably way too much. And this is the hard part is trying to get it into the tube without hitting the walls. Oop, I hit the wall. Hit the wall. Okay, so you can kind of see I'm getting some epoxy in there. And it's not going to take much epoxy, as you know. Um, if you want more, Grab a little more, make it a little bit more bigger of a mess, <laughs> like I'm, I'm about to do. Um, kind of keep it spinning to keep it from sagging too much. I have to go way over here. Oops. The nice thing about this epoxy is that it will sag just a little bit. And so what's on the inside will, will gradually get smooth. Uh, but I can also wipe it off. So I'll wipe off my dowel. Okay. I'm going to take a new paper towel and just wrap it around there. And if you want, you can take some tape and tape it on. I just want to keep it on there so that when I pull it out, the uh, paper towel doesn't stay on the inside. So I can take it 
and just clean off in there. See this one here. Basically, I'm just just smoothing it out most of it, mostly. If I want to get it really clean, I'll just keep doing that. Um, I could take a wet one with some alcohol on it and shove that down in there too. So I can see here's a little bit here on the end. Let's see if you can see that right here. And you can just see the alcohol is just cutting it real good and it just comes off nice and easy. Okay. So now my tape, I can pull that off and we can clean up any of the edges. This is where it helps to have a garbage can ready. You'll just peel these off and drop them right in the garbage can. Okay, you can see that's, that edge is looking really good. Which is what I want. It's just going to have a little lip on it. And that can be sanded off pretty easy. Once you're in the priming stage of your rocket, which after I'm done with the fillets, after these are hard, that would be the next step is to start painting it. Okay, so my edges look pretty good except for right in here. So I need to take off a little bit of epoxy, bring it around. Okay. Get a little a little bit of alcohol. Okay, I can live with that. And I usually come around the tips just with my finger and just kind of wrap that, break off those sharp corners. There's going to be a little bit of sanding that's going to be fine. We expect that when making a rocket. I think I am done. The more you touch it, the more you screw it up, so don't touch it. Um, you have to leave it horizontal to dry, or otherwise it will ooze. So I would probably prop up the front end a little bit like that. So try to get as level as you can. Um, and when it's done, it'll be like this one. This will be rock hard. And you'll have both your internal fillets and your external fillets. Um, so now we're ready to paint. So I, th I don't think I'm going to cover the painting of this rocket. I think you know how to do that. Um, this is a more advanced rocket, like I said, because you're drilling holes in fiberglass tubes and doing a little bit of design at the same time as you're building. So this is a Mach 1 kit. I think you're going to love them. Uh, you can get them here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com.